Right, thank you for looking at this second video. So what we're doing for this one is, as I said in the last video, I want to start off with getting the crab to move, okay? So first things first, nice and easy, double click and get your code window up. Now, you should really be using this function here, this little procedure. However, for the exam you don't actually need to, so I don't see the point in teaching you unnecessary things. So always try and put all your work into the act function. So what we're going to do is we need to make an if statement that detects what you press. So I'm going to start with an if statement. Now if you've learned Python you'll be thinking why is he putting brackets in the if statement but in C Sharp, Java, a lot of C derived languages there's a lot more brackets including these curly brackets. So the curly brackets sort of replace indentations or tabbing in in Python and you need to have a lot, quite a lot of brackets. So we'll start off with an if statement. Now the good thing about Greenfoot is that if you hold control and press space what pops up is the IntelliSense, a big list of all the things you can do. You have a little look down, in this case we're looking for something, something to be pressing keys down because we're going to be using up, down, left and right. Okay, So we have a look around, see what we can find. So we've got turn towards, what be that? Set rotation, might be useful later on. Can't really find anything there. So, one thing you want to learn when you're doing this is try and use control space whenever you can. So we're going to pretend here that I don't know what I'm doing. Press control space and I can't find anything. So, if you can't find what you're looking for there, so I'm looking for something called is key down. What you can also do is type green foot full stop, control space again, and you'll get a bunch of other procedures and functions you can use. So I've got get mic level, get random number, I've got is key down, and that's what I'm looking for. But there's plenty of other things you can use as well. So I want is key down, and if you read it, it says it's a boolean, is key down, so that means it's going to return true or false to the program, and it checks whether a given key is currently pressed down. I'm going to press that, two speech marks, and if I'm looking for, we'll start with right. Okay, so if I'm pressing the right arrow. Now looking at this, um, I want to, first things first, set the rotation. So I want to point in the right direction. So again, control space, have a little look. We're looking for set rotation. So down here I've got set rotation and it's looking for an integer. So that needs to be a whole number. Now I know for a fact that zero just means go straight right. So I'm going to do zero, semicolon each line barring if statements and when you're making your own procedures and functions usually require a semicolon at the end so we've got set rotation zero and I want to move control space again have a little look so we found something to do with moving we've got move integer and I'm just going to say one you can always change this later now to check if it's worked you can press compile no syntax errors press compile if I press the right key it should start moving. Now for some reason mine's not, so let's double check. I've done something wrong, and I quite clearly have, because it's not working yet. Let's try again. Ah, it was working. So it's working fine. Once you put it working, we're programmers here, we're nice and lazy. What we want to do, highlight all that code because you know it works. We want four of these for right down, left, and up. So we'll change them accordingly, so we'll get it nice and neat, we don't like messy code. So if you're not showing any directions, always go right, then down, then left, then up, and your rotations, you should keep adding 90 every time. So if we're going down, what 90 degrees, if I'm going left, I want 180, and if I'm going up, I want 270. Compile, compile, run the game, and I should be able to go up, down, left, and right. So now I can navigate my whole game, and that is another, I believe, two marks. So, so far, we're on five marks already. So if that was helpful, and you really enjoyed that, and it's something you want to keep viewing, I'm going to go into random movement next and hopefully go through to collisions, scoring, 
sounds and all the things you need to get full marks. Now I'm just going to leave the code up there just in case you want to print screen that or something to use. But until the next one, I will see you all later.